Adam here from Smart Carpet and Flooring. Today we are changing our customers' three bedrooms that we have carpet to a similar wood flooring that is common in the hallways adjoining the three rooms. The original floor in the hallway was installed more than 18 years ago. With the help of our customer, we were able to identify the original wood floor as a Bruce three inch engineered oak floor. Step one, remove the old carpet and padding. After we remove the old carpeting, we clean and prep the subfloor for the install. We need to scrape and remove all the staples that were holding the old carpet pad. Any rough unevenness in the OSB plywood subfloor must get addressed, including securing loose nails and sanding the seams if necessary for a perfectly flat installation. Preparing the rooms for the new floors may also require prepping the walls and doorways to accept the height of the new floor. To provide an extra layer of moisture protection and dampen sound, we roll out special felt paper before we install the new flooring. Every doorway where we will meet the existing floor is prepped as well to transition the new floor. Once we prep everything, we can confidently move forward racking out and nailing each board into place. Where the direction of the new floor butts up to the old floor, we use a T transition. Where the floor meets the master bedroom, we are able to transition without a T because the flow of the wood is in the same direction as the new floor. This particular engineered floor by Bruce is made with a roto peeled wood top layer. With this process, we see a lot wider graining in the wood finish, some refer to as a furniture finish. The finished wear layer is completed with a UV cured urethane and aluminum oxide coating that will provide years of maintenance free enjoyment. Last but not least, we install white shoe molding to complete the look and finish the room. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you need new carpet or flooring, please call Smart Carpet and Flooring for a free estimate. 1-800-5